everybody, I'm Tanika and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my channel focuses on fashion and travel and beauty. And I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite transitional pieces for spring. I'm super excited for spring. Um, it's been really warm here in New York City. And it'll go from like 80 degrees and then it'll go to like 40 degrees or 50 degrees. So I wanted to share with you some of the transitional pieces that I have in my wardrobe that really make dressing for spring a little bit more fun. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, first and foremost, I love a pair of straight leg denim jeans. I don't know if you can see this. Let me come down. Uh, but I have on some of these like pointy heeled shoes and um, they're super fun. I really love like the pointy heel, straight leg kind of situation. And one of the things that I love to do is to do like a little crop or like a little bit of skin, a slither of skin in the middle. We love a slither of skin. And I have this top from Aritzia. If you are new here, you may not know I'm obsessed with these rib tops from Aritzia. I've been wearing them for years. And I think they're just such great staple and basics to have in your wardrobe. They carry me through winter, spring, summer, fall. I wear them all year round and they are sleeveless. Let me take this off. Yeah, there's no sleeves on them. They kind of suck you in a little bit. Um, and I just like to wear them. I have them in all different colors, black, white, red, pink, peach, yellow, just all kinds of colors. And I think they're just really a good kind of staple to have to your wardrobe, especially as you transition. So, you know, first and foremost, you want to make sure you get those basics kind of together because they are going to help you transition really well. And I think some really good basic tops are really great because you can pull off a blazer and um, especially if it gets too hot and you have a really good outfit still underneath. And also great transition is straight leg denim jeans with no holes in them because if it gets a little cold, you can still put a pair of like tights on underneath and I always love like closed toe heels. Closed toe heels are incredible. So right there in less than three minutes, I just gave you three transitional pieces. So don't say I didn't give you anything, okay, in this video. Now to the fun stuff. Um, some of the transitional pieces that I love the most, and I've been saying this since I've been uh, a content creator all two and a half years, is um, I love blazers. Blazers in me are like best friends. I love to wear blazers. I will wear blazers in the spring, summer, winter. It doesn't matter if it's 80 degrees, 90 degrees. I will wear a blazer because a lot of times I'm not sitting out in like 80 degree weather. I'm walking where I'm transitioning. I'm going into a building where it's chilly. And so you can wear a linen blazer when it's 70 and 80 degrees in the spring and you can wear a lined or unlined blazer when it's like 60 or 50 degrees. Uh oh, that's the door. You can wear an unlined blazer if it's 50 or 60 degrees outside. A blazer is just one of those staples that's really going to help you. Don't worry guys, Mr. V is here so he's going to answer the door. So when it comes to spring, blazers are the name of the game. A couple of transitional pieces that I want to share with you that I think people often miss um, are some of these really like, they're not necessarily a jacket and it's not necessarily a shirt. <laughs> it's basically like a combination of the two. And let me show you what I mean. So this piece I got from Massimo Duty in like... January so it's been a while if I can find it I will link it but it's basically a top but it's made out of like a winter or thicker material the reason why I love this kind of top for spring is because you can wear it as a jacket and people won't know it's also a little bit on the thin side right like it's a thinnish leather and so it's not too heavy that if it gets warm and you're wearing it with like a black base like what I have on and some jeans that you can't like take it off right and so I love I just really love this it's just so nice it's really warm um, and it's something that is in this really fun shade that will go perfect with like springtime you can also pair this with a bunch of different colors you can wear this in a really cool monochromatic way. So you can have green on green with all the green together. 
it's just super super fun and so I love these kind of in between you know like leather shirts um you know or suede shirts or shirts that are like their shirts and they're they can be worn as shirts but you can also wear them as jackets and they're made out of a more like thicker material or what we would consider a fall or winter material you know and I love that it's in this fun color that's like the perfect combination like a winter fall material plus a fun spring color and it's a layering piece I hope that's helpful I hope you caught that I hope you caught that now this um is a bomber jacket that I think is really trending so I got to wear this only one time this season and I will likely get to wear it again because it's going to be in the 50s and 60s. And I think this is perfect for the 50s and 60s here in New York City. Some straight leg denim jeans. I will wear it with some heels to just spice it up because I'm like a super feminine person. And then I love this kind of slither of skin and um, it's tight at the top to create some balance with this kind of oversized um, bomber jacket. But bombers have really been trending. Um, in just like this huge, huge way, especially I feel like over um, in the West, in America, in the UK, and Canada, it's been like a really big, I feel like it's part of like the 90s trend, but I really love these bomber jackets. I think they're perfect for transitions. Um, I got this from ASOS a while ago. I think I got it for like last fashion week, honestly, so um I would say in my real life it wasn't that long ago but in the world of influencing because it was like two or three months ago it may not necessarily be available but it's super cute um it's something that you can wear as a transitional piece you can also take this off there's a tons of ways that you can dress this up for like a brunch um in case you don't know brunch is like an event here in New York City that's like a moment you like brunch is like your moment of the week for you to dress up and do all the things especially if you work from home um I would totally wear this with like some tights and some thigh high boots um and just really spice it up and give it what it's looking for but I love the idea of pairing a bomber with a little crop um it's just so cute it's instantly cute now some people will wear this with like some cargos i think that's probably like the most obvious way to wear it um which is probably why i wouldn't necessarily do it but i think it would i think it could look cute either way honestly great 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 perfect transitional piece another really cute uh transitional piece this is actually a blazer um but you know it looks like a trench coat um or it might be a trench coat and it just looks like a blazer either way but it's from this brand called kate i actually got it secondhand from the real real in the city i was moseying down okay i was down in soho and i moseyed into the real real and i was like oh this is super cute i love the idea of like a shorter you know um take on the trench because i feel like Everyone has a trench. We all love a trench coat. We have classic trench coats. I have a million and one trench coats. I love a trench coat, okay? It is like the perfect transition piece for me. Um, and so I think this trench, this like trench blazer situation that I have going on is just so cute. It also hits at the perfect spot. Now, honestly, I would wear this with some leggings and some thigh high boots and a crop top um as well because that's just like that's totally my vibe that is totally my vibe i don't know what it is with me in leggings lately but i have just really been feeling leggings and i like i usually i'm like the type of person that i would never really re wear leggings outside the house or or at the air like other than like the airport or something but there's something about those wolfer tights that just make me feel super like snatched and elevated and pulled together that i'm like I'm wearing this outside so um, I love this together obviously with the straight leg pants this together looks great as well but like you can wear this in so many different ways I just think a trench is classic and it's perfect it's a staple that everyone needs in their wardrobe okay so um, next on the transitional pieces for spring is obviously a trench coat um sticking with the same trench coat theme so this one is from h&m 
um, and it's a, this beautiful cobalt blue color and I think it's so stunning. One of the things I love to do during springtime is to get some amazing trench coats. A lot of times for me, I will wear them with boots and the trench coat and maybe like something very basic underneath, maybe like a black ribbed dress or like a turtleneck dress, something that if I take the coat off, I will still look slightly put together. <laughs> But for me, the coat does a lot of the talking. And I am a coat girl in a coat world. <laughs> um, and so I just absolutely adore like trench coats. I love trench coats. I think they're just so great. They pull together a look in such an amazing way. Obviously, you don't have to tie it in the front. You can wear it, you know, loose. You can also like double tie it in the back. I don't even know if this is together. Um, maybe I'll do it with another coat, but you basically just tie it where it just sits right there on the back. Um, but I love trench coats. I think they're just so good. Um, I don't like when they like overwhelm the body, but I love them in a beautiful color and a beautiful print. I love my like Chloe coats, my like Chloe, you know, trench coats. I think trench coats are just perfect for spring. What I love about this trench coat though is the material. So like if it rains, here in New York City, it will rain at the drop of a hat, especially in the springtime. And so I just love this kind of vinyl material. Um, you know, it can just roll off. Now the only thing is sometimes these kind of coats make noise, but I'm used to it. But I think it's so cute. It's just great for a really good pop of color too so make sure that when you're thinking about spring transitional pieces you have one or two like pops of color in your coat because they can serve it's almost like a dress you know it's almost like a dress i mean that's what i do let me show you another coat it's from max mara i had it for years actually i think i've only had it for one year but i love um i love this trench so one of the things I love about this trench, obviously the coat, y'all know I love orange, but I actually wear this trench a lot with like skirts. Um, I don't know what it is about this trench that I think it just looks so good with um, skirts. I could also see this with like a Canadian tuxedo, you know, with like the top, the denim top and um, the denim skirt and this. Ooh, this goes with my new long chain bag. The bag is on the floor. <laughs> A surprise unboxing. Um, so mini rant, mini story. I actually went to go get the long chomp mini because I was like, hello, I live in New York City. And even if it's not online, I can go into the store. Now, I went in to get this bag knowing that this bag was $85, right? So I'm like, oh, this is the $85 bag. So, so cute. Child, while I get to the register and this bag was um, 400 something dollars. 400 something dollars for this little bag well it came to came to find out that i was buying the leather one not the vinyl one so i was like oh okay so i actually really like the leather one so i might do like a reel with this because i think that's so cute and this also has a strap i think it's so cute and i love the idea of pairing like i will pair this with a skirt yeah i will pair this with a skirt uh denim skirt scrunchy boots um, this bag, it would just be, it would just be hella spring, you know? I would just give the people spring. spring. I would probably do like a turtleneck because I think that would be cute too with this. But I love the idea of just this beautiful color trench coat, you know? It's just like such a vibe. And you can keep everything else really simple or you can kick it up a notch. It also, because of the color and the shape and the way it looks, it can serve as a really beautiful nighttime coat as well. I've worn this coat so many ways. It's a staple in my closet. You can also usually catch this coat on sale on netaporte.com. If I see a link, I will try to share it. But you can always catch this coat on sale. It's such a great investment piece. Again, it's from Max Mara. We live, we love Max Mara. Make sure you check out my uh, Milan vlog video because I talked about Max Mara because I went to the Max Mara show. And I love this coat. This coat is stunning. Another trench coat um, that I'm obsessed with is by Benjamin Ben Moyal. Um, I got this while I was in Paris at one of the. Um, I got this at uh, La Samaritan. I think that's where I got it. 
but um yeah you can probably find it online it's an independent designer um i love i love this coat i love this coat because of the print now when i first saw it i was like okay it kind of looks like carpet but i was looking for something that just like stood out and something that was like unique and a talking piece and for me this is a talking piece again i will wear this with like either some high waist boots um or like denim if i was going to brunch but i would like make it really difficult for me to take the coat off so right now it would be a perfect day to wear this coat because it's like 57 degrees um and it's like kind of sunny outside so i think that's just the perfect kind of temperature for this coat like it's definitely a coat in the 50s it's a light coat it looked like it's you know it looks like it's not light it has these perfect little sleeves and I just love trench coats as transitional pieces and also trench coats as like really cool, fun, like almost like a dress, you know, that's like really my vibe. I think it's cute. I love it with some pointy heels and I just think it's such a good and fun. Piece. Okay, now this coat is a very light uh, pea coat that I actually got from TJ Maxx the runway um like their run tj maxx runway um it was actually i got it as part of the campaign that i did with them over on um instagram and tiktok and they basically gave me like a gift card and i got to pick some stuff out when i was in the store and i immediately gravitated towards this why did i gravitate towards this because it's like the perfect transitional coat like it's for those cold days like but the shade, it's like this beautiful shade of like yellow. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like an egg, you know, yellow. And it's just so, it just screams like Easter, you know? And I would love to like color block with this with pink. I think it would just look so stunning. It's just such a perfect spring coat. It's like perfect for spring. If you wore this in the fall, they would be like, oh, that's a cute spring coat. That's how much of a spring coat it is. Um, it's not heavy at all. I would wear this without um, like long sleeves underneath. It doesn't like itch my arms. It feels a little bit like it's a really long blazer, you know, but if like if you wore this when it was like a highs of in the 40s, um, you may be a little bit cold if you have, but you should like wear like a turtleneck on underneath. But it's so, so, so cute. It's so perfect. It's um, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's actually by Max Mara. And this was on my list for a long time of Max Mara coats that I wanted to get. I wonder if I put this on my luxury wish list. I wonder if I did I need to go back and check but I wanted this coat for so long and I put this coat like in my net a porte basket and I was waiting for them to go on sale but because this is like such a hot ticket item as soon as it went on sale I missed it my size was gone so I missed out on it so it like perfectly came back to me and I just love it I'm a coat girl I love coats and I think this coat is so perfect for spring I've actually worn this twice already this short spring. I haven't been around that long um, in New York for like proper spring weather. Um, but I'm excited about this. This is also a coat that I could wear this week because it's in the 50s and 60s. I wouldn't wear this in the high 60s. I would wear this if it was like a high of 60 and windy, you know? Such a cute coat. I recommend getting like a bigger coat like bigger than a trench coat you know um having one coat that's bigger than a trench coat and again all of this kind of stuff is stuff that most of you will already have in your closet i'm just saying like you should you know get your spring rack so that you have your stuff that you can pull for we look like we are barreling towards summer very quickly um so we may only have like a month left that we can wear some of these stuff these things but i wanted to make sure i showed you all some of the things that i was wearing for spring now some of the things that i really love for spring and i think that are just like such good staples that people should have in their wardrobe during the springtime are sweaters so i love sweaters in like prints and like what people might consider like spring shade so this like really light pink this like really light green i think these kinds of sweaters are really really cute and i love 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 this sweater 
I also really love this like neon hot pink and red sweater. Um, this is from Christopher John Rogers. I think it's so cute. I think it's so, so stunning. And it's something that I just really love to wear um, or really love to wear. I just got this. This I've had for a while. I feel like I wore this to London Fashion Week like two years ago when I was in London for London Fashion Week. Um, and this is just so perfect. It screams spring to me. It's like the kind of sweater I would wear with some jeans or a skirt um, and I wouldn't wear a coat you know it's where like it's cold enough for a sweater but it's not quite you know cold enough for a sweater and a coat you know what I'm saying so that's what I love about just really funky cute sweaters for spring I think they make for great transitional pieces as we transition from winter into spring I don't know why I'm saying as we transition into winter into spring we are 100% into in spring but I'm just saying okay so um this sweater I love this sweater it's so 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 cute um I may have talked about it in my vid in another video I don't know yet but um I don't know the order that I'm uploading these videos <laughs> I usually have more videos than I ever upload that's my problem in life okay I have way more videos than I ever actually upload so I never know what actually makes it um, anyway, this Loewe sweater is so cute. Um, and the reason why it's perfect for spring is because of how thin it is. It's just like, it's a knit sweater, uh, but it's super, 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 super thin. And so it's such a great statement piece, but it's also a great layering piece. That's what I love about these Loewe sweaters. I have a few of them. They make for really great like layering pieces. So, you know, you can put this in your tote bags just in case it gets a little cool. You can throw it on if you have on like a shorter sleeve. There's just all kinds of ways that you can layer with this piece, especially in a season like spring where it can go from the 40s to the 80s um, in a week. So I love these beautiful transitional sweaters. Last but not least, I wanted to share these white boots. Don't know if you can see these. Uh, but there are these white booties from Stuart Wiseman. I love Stuart Wiseman. Um, every spring, I usually get me a pair of white and or white and cream booties. I have some from Mark Fisher. I have a pair from Lulu's. Um, I think they're just so cute. Now, a lot of people don't like white boots. A lot of people don't like white shoes. They think they feel like they get scuffed really easily. That is true. These are like my brunch uh, boots. So like I'm not on the three train with these. I'm not on the two train. I'm not on the eight train with these boots. I am in an Uber avoiding puddles. Not when it's a, any chance of rain. Uh, a very cute, nice day, white bag, um, you know, cute outfit. It's just really about the pop. Now, I wear a six, a size six shoe, sometimes six and a half. And so um, I have a little dainty foot. Now some people, they're like, girl, my feet is too big. This is gonna elongate my feet. If you don't like to have a bigger looking feet, I totally get it. I don't mind having a bigger looking feet. I have room to go. Um, so I don't necessarily mind. You can also wear this with like a midi skirt. Um, I would keep it really funky with like a denim crop or like a crop uh, denim jacket to just keep it like, you know, a little bit more funky, a little less like, you know, granny-ish. Um, but you just, it's just all in the way that you style it. But I love white boots as like a good, good transition for spring. It's like almost the only time of the year where you can really get away with wearing white boots in a like really funky way, you know? Cause otherwise sometimes white boots during um, the holidays, can, you can give, you know, it can give a little Miss Claus, a little, you know, Santa Claus, a little Christmas time. Um, but in the spring, it just looks funky and fresh and amazing. And it looks like you're swapping out a lot of your blacks for whites. And that's kind of what we're going for. All right. If you stuck around this long, I really actually appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for joining me for this conversation around spring transitional pieces. Please let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite transitional pieces during this like very weird time where it can go from like 40 degrees 
degrees Fahrenheit to like 80 degrees Fahrenheit in like a matter of days, sometimes a day. Um, it's just such an interesting period. I know some of y'all live in Texas and Florida where it's like 99 degrees already, but here in New York City, um, like last week it was in the 80s. And again, right now it's like probably won't even be a high of 60. Um, so it just varies and also in the morning time it can be in the 40s so it's just all kinds of situations going on so we really need to make sure we have our transitional pieces thank you so much I really appreciate it please like please comment please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me and I will see you in the next video bye